Hello everyone, I hope you had a nice holiday and a happy new year. To start off the new year, I have a really fun and formidable Ogren build that I've been experimenting with. Since I was feeling that Krieg lifestyle a bit too much last week, I decided to create a Guardsman but in the form of an Ogren. I had so much fun making this build come to life and it really shines as a bulky support for the entire team. The synergy I went with was creating a lot of openers if I needed to crowd control or focus on being a tank for the group. There's lots of nice flavor and variety with this build too, as pretty much any weapon you like will work. I decided to go with some weapons that I have yet to show off on the channel, so to start things off, let's go over my weapons first. I chose to use the old Mark III latrine shovel. Its moveset is very easy to manage with wide swings. In order to do that and keep your chain going, you'll want to start with a light attack followed by a heavy sweep. These two sweeping motions from left to right are all you're going to need to keep your chain going to build your strengths up with this brute. Again, feel free to experiment for yourself. I enjoy the latrine shovel and the bully club most with this build, but almost everything will work as long as you maintain a nice flow of hits to your enemies. I went with perks dealing damage to unyielding and carapist armored enemies. The blessings I went with were skull crusher for the boost in damage if the target is staggered, and this is easily achieved with the moveset I explained earlier. Both of these attacks will stagger and deliver a crushing blow as you build up damage, and since I wanted to output a ton more power, I went with thrust as my other blessing. This can actually be really easy to control since you can stagger with the light and hold your heavy down for a powerful heavy sweep. But this is only the beginning because I wanted to pick something else that I knew my Ogren builds were missing. I thought it was finally time to bring out the kickback. This weapon got a huge buff last patch and I haven't used it since, but boy oh boy do I miss it. This weapon packs a major punch and the best part is it pairs incredibly well with the shovel. Since I wanted an option that gives me more variety when it comes to what I'll be fighting, I figure the kickback can solve most of those problems. You can snipe snipers from about 50 meters out and you can emit entire crowds of horde enemies with a single shot. As for my perks on this, I took damage to Maniacs and Flak Armored enemies to round off any issues that I would have with my shovel. Since these enemies are normally at a distance anyway, this will cover most of my bases if anything goes wrong. To make sure that we can delete anything that decides to show its face to us, I took Surgical as my first blessing as the buildup is very fast to gain 100% crit chance. For my second blessing, I went with Blaze Away for the power climb that I can achieve if I ever need to unload on some beefy threat. As for my Curios, I decided to go with 3 max health Curios, all with boost to my health and toughness. However, each has a dedicated perk that differs from the other. That being sprint efficiency, toughness regen speed, and resistance to gunners. I'd also like to say that this is more for my playstyle. Please feel free to try out different curios combinations to see what you like and enjoy more. Here is the full talent tree I went with this time around. I wanted to complement our strengths when fighting with the team, while still being able to show off our potential for outputting more damage among any enemy that dares show its face in front of us. The ability I chose was indomitable for the attack speed bonus as well as the movement speed bonus that we gain. I love this ability for being able to clear out hordes of enemies for a rescue of a teammate, but also for staggering bosses whenever I get the chance. To make sure that we have options for our own survival, I took stopping boots for the toughness replenishment that we gain upon hitting any enemies during our charge. I rarely ever found an excuse to use this other modifier, but I learned to love it when I paired it with the fast weapon like the shovel. Trample is really interesting as it increases our base damage by 1% per enemy hit during our charge. This means after running through a horde, you can quickly start beaming your shovel from side to side, clearing out everything that was in your path. The damage boost will only last for 8 seconds, but that should be more than enough time to clear everything out. Recently, I had been going for the Ogren's Penance for hitting specialists with a big box of hurt. And since they just fixed it, I felt like it might be time to start using bombs away again. With this nade, it's treated more like the Zealous Stunstorm Grenade. It won't always kill the target, but you can stun and clear a lot of enemies very easily and quickly. I usually reserve this for whenever we really need it, but since I gravitate towards being the one who always rescues my fellow operatives, I usually save it for then. But, if you ever get the opportunity to throw it into a massive amount of grouped up specialists, then do so, as it will stagger and stun all those around it and give everyone a chance to advance and kill the surrounding threat. Next up, for my aura ability, I went with Bonebreaker's Aura. This aura enhances everyone's heavy melee damage by 10%. This might sound a little selfish, but I do feel like it works really well for our melee weapon. And since our main job is to protect the little ones, this will make that job just a little bit easier for us. Leaning into the strength behind this build, I took Heavy Hitter as my main keystone. This provides us with a ton of damage for our shovel and only gets stronger upon each hit. The modifiers I took were Brutish Momentum so I can refresh the duration of Heavy Hitter whenever we're chaining light attacks with our heavy hits. And I also took Just Getting Started. This increases my attack speed with each stack of Heavy Hitter. This allows for some incredible speed with the shovel and makes chaining devastating blows much easier with Heavy Hitter. My passives all lean into applying more damage and staggering incoming threats while being able to tank a majority of that damage that those threats could apply to us. Let's start off with Bruiser. This passive is incredibly useful as we want to be able to use our ability as often as possible. As long as you or your team are taking down any elites, you'll recycle all of that into a cooldown reduction. 
Crunch is another passive I never really took as I found other options to be better, but with the faster melee options, it's really great. Each of your fully charged melee attacks will carry 40% more damage and impact behind it. And for those that don't know what impact does, it's the effectiveness of being able to stagger enemies. And since we have Skullbreaker on the shovel, this enhances the effect of that blessing. I grab Furious for even more damage behind our heavy hits. This applies to all the enemies we hit, and then it will amp up the damage upon hitting them with our light attacks. If you can keep the moveset chaining between lights and heavies, this should pretty much apply in almost every hit. Next up, I grab Get Stuck In for the benefits for my team. Whenever we activate our ability, everyone gains movement speed and becomes immune to stunts and suppression for 4 seconds. The sole use of being able to save your teammates passively is what appealed to me and my playstyle, so remember to stick with everyone and try to keep everyone's momentum going. Hard Knocks is a perfect passive for this build, as it applies more damage upon our next heavy hit upon enemy stagger. The larger the enemy, the more stacks we earn, and this is a passive we can really enjoy whenever we meet other ogren enemies and monstrosities. Just remember to apply a stagger and let loose. Another passive I find almost mandatory for all ogren players is Heavyweight. It saves your toughness by giving you more damage reduction, and gives you more damage to all ogren enemy variants. This is an easy choice since we already have tons of damage, but why not more? Since I wanted damage reduction to be helpful to us, I took Emplaceable for damage reduction whenever we're charging up a melee attack. Again, this helps us each time we're applying thrust behind every charged heavy hit. I chose No Stopping Me to make sure that we'll never get interrupted while charging our heavy melee attack. This means that we'll never have to worry about being stunned out of any of our follow-up attacks. A lot of this build relies on our ability to stagger and keep enemies suppressed. Slam will grant us even more impact bonus on all of our melee attacks, allowing us to stagger often and almost always. Smash em works really well with the shovel as applying the strike down with the heavy moveset, you can gain a quarter of your toughness back easily. And to make sure that we stay at a good rate of toughness, I also took the best defense, which does the same effect but whenever we hit multiple enemies. These two passives work incredibly well together, and if you ever need to hit an enemy with a kickback, you could swing it as it also applies a heavy hit with a special action. It's a great way to get some breathing room while reloading. I took Soften them up so we can help everyone do more damage. This is only applied whenever we're doing damage to a specific enemy, and as long as others are hitting that same threat, 15% more damage can be applied by everyone for 5 seconds. And to finish off the build, I took Too Stubborn to Die. This is a great passive to clutch with if all goes to hell. If you start to get swarmed, then you can rely on this passive to allow you to take almost all of the damage to get out of it. You'll have so many different ways to earn your toughness back quickly, just use your skill and positioning to play smart, and you should have no issues making it back to your team. Just remember that this is the last resort. Keep your health up and fight with everyone so that this never has to pop, but if it does, avenge everyone. The operative modifiers I went with boost our health, heavy melee damage, as well as our regular melee damage. And we also get a small boost to apply rending, another big boost in toughness as well as some toughness damage reduction. This build makes you feel like an unstoppable force if played right. It isn't hard to push the limits in this build, and like I said before, you can pretty much adjust any of the weapons to your liking. Since I really had the chance to highlight these weapons, I figured I'd do so here. This is how I love to play my Ogren. I always try to be a team player to some extent, and this build just pushes that threshold even further with the amount of damage that we can apply to nearly every threat that decides to prove its existence in front of us. My biggest tip that I can give while playing with this build is to focus everything as if it was going to down you or an ally, play aggressively, and take the frontline charge. Your team should always be relying on you to either kill everything, or at least weaken it enough for them to finish the job. I had a great time making this build come to life. Any chance that I get to make a build for my big guy, I try to make the most out of it. I always hear how much people don't like playing Ogren, and I think it just boils down to your playstyle and skill. The Ogren has a great floor to learn and be forgiven easily if anything goes wrong, but it also has a high skill ceiling to players who are willing to push the limits that the Ogren can go. Anyways, thanks for voting on this one. I've been meaning to make another Ogren build for you all, so it was nice to have an excuse to make one. Next up is going to be my Psyker, since you all voted for another build there too. Keep an eye out on my community tab, as that's where I post polls asking for your help on what to make next. But until next time, my name is Zen, and I really appreciate you coming by today. I hope to see you again in the next one, take care of yourself, and enjoy the rest of the match.
we knew why it was here.